Have you ever taken out a beautiful silver ring, a necklace, or maybe your grandmother's vintage silverware, only to find that it's no longer shiny, but instead covered in a dull black coating? It's frustrating, especially when you remember how brilliant and lustrous it once looked. But before you consider throwing it out or replacing it, let's take a moment to understand what's actually going on. In this video, we're diving deep into why some silver objects develop that unmistakable black tarnish over time, right here on History of Simple Things. To understand why silver tarnishes, we need to understand a bit about what silver is. Silver is a chemical element. Its symbol on the periodic table is Ig, which comes from its Latin name Argentum. It's a precious metal known for its excellent conductivity, reflectiveness, and malleability. It's also admired for its aesthetic appeal in jewelry, homeware, and coins. Pure silver, which is 99.9% .9 silver, is actually less likely to tarnish, but it's too soft for most practical uses. So silver is often mixed with other metals like copper to form what we call sterling silver. Sterling silver contains about 92.5% silver and 7.5% other metals, primarily copper. And this is where things get interesting. The black tarnish that forms on silver is mainly due to a chemical reaction between silver and sulfur-containing substances in the environment. The most common culprit is hydrogen sulfide, a colorless gas with a distinct rotten egg smell. Hydrogen sulfide exists in very small amounts in the air and is more common in areas with pollution, volcanic activity, or decaying organic matter. When silver comes into contact with hydrogen sulfide, it undergoes a chemical reaction that forms silver sulfide, which appears as a black or dark brown coating on the surface. This is what we commonly refer to as tarnish. Even trace amounts of hydrogen sulfide can gradually cause this reaction, especially in humid environments where moisture in the air helps facilitate the chemical exchange. You might be wondering, where does hydrogen sulfide come from if it's in such tiny amounts in the air? Well, it can be found in urban environments due to industrial emissions, vehicle exhaust, and the breakdown of organic waste. Indoors, it can be emitted from natural gas stoves, rubber bands, wool, certain foods like eggs and onions, and even from our own skin due to trace sulfur-containing compounds in sweat and skin oils. This is why silver jewelry can tarnish faster when worn regularly. The oils and sweat from our bodies accelerate the reaction. The more frequently the object is exposed to sulfur-rich surroundings, the faster it tarnishes. That's also why silver items stored in tightly sealed containers or anti-tarnish cloths tend to stay shiny for longer. An interesting point of comparison is gold. Gold, unlike silver, doesn't tarnish under normal conditions. That's because gold is a noble metal. It's chemically very stable and doesn't easily react with sulfur, oxygen, or moisture in the air. Silver, while still classified as a precious metal, is not as inert. It reacts more readily with environmental substances, especially when alloyed with copper. This is one reason why gold jewelry maintains its bright, polished look longer than silver. It's also why silver demands a bit more care and maintenance over time. The good news is that silver tarnish, while annoying, isn't permanent. It can be removed with polishing cloths, silver dips, and mild abrasive cleaners. However, Frequent cleaning can wear away at thin silver plating or delicate engravings, so prevention is better than cure. One of the best ways to prevent tarnish is to reduce the item's exposure to air and sulfur. Store silver items in airtight containers, preferably with anti-tarnish strips or silica gel packets to reduce humidity. Avoid contact with rubber, latex, wool, and foods that contain sulfur. 
When it comes to silver jewelry, wiping it down with a soft cloth after use can help remove skin oils and environmental pollutants that contribute to tarnishing. For long-term storage, using tarnish-resistant bags or cloths can significantly slow the rate of reaction. Interestingly, silver tarnish has not always been viewed negatively. In some cultures and time periods, the darkening of silver was actually appreciated for the patina it created, a kind of aged look that gave the item character and a sense of antiquity. Some antique collectors even value a bit of tarnish because it adds authenticity and depth. In jewelry making, some silversmiths deliberately oxidize silver to create contrast and highlight design elements. Modern technology has also offered new ways to combat tarnish. Some silver products are now coated with rhodium, a rare and corrosion-resistant metal that helps protect silver from air exposure. Others are treated with anti-tarnish coatings that form an invisible barrier on the metal's surface. These innovations can extend the lifespan of the item's shine, though they may also alter the way the silver looks and feels. For example, rhodium-plated silver tends to be brighter and more mirror-like than natural silver, which has a softer sheen. Consumers need to weigh the benefits of long-lasting luster against the desire for a more traditional silver appearance. So there you have it. The black tarnish on your silver isn't a sign of poor quality or neglect. It's simply chemistry at work. A reaction between silver and sulfur in the environment creates silver sulfide, a black compound that dulls the surface of the metal. While it can be removed, it's often better to prevent it through proper storage and regular care. Understanding why silver tarnishes doesn't just help you keep your belongings looking their best, it also connects you with the science of everyday life. It reminds us that even the most beautiful things are not immune to change, and that with a little effort and knowledge, we can preserve their brilliance for years to come. And as silver continues to be a beloved material in everything from fine jewelry to family heirlooms, our awareness of how it interacts with the world around us becomes part of its story. Whether you're caring for a cherished necklace or polishing a set of antique cutlery, each piece reflects both your personal history and the natural processes it's undergone. So the next time you see a bit of tarnish, don't just see it as damage, see it as a moment in time, a quiet transformation that, with the right care, only adds to the richness of the silver's journey. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.